Eleanor, you want to start this one? Sure. Um, well, the idea of the photograph is the juxtaposition of the poster and the woman, and the gesture is really interesting. Um, and then you have like all these little details, like the color blue is coming back, the red also. Um, but I just think it's too far to make that connection. Like all the rest of the picture is not is not that interesting. If a photographer wants to focus on that, then I need. I think that's what the picture needs to be about, not about the windows on the on the side. But she's she's a very interesting figure. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hope she's okay. But. And the poster is good, the gesture of a hand is working well, the two hands. Um, so I think that scene was really good to start with. Um, it just feels like it's, it was just shot like just straight on when something else could have happened to make that connection a bit more interesting. Okay, uh, Matt? I think it's uh, okay. I like the I like the color. I like the reflection of the uh, the color of the door, the sort of brass feeling. I w I think that uh, it would have been better had the photographer got a bit closer. It might have been tricky. Although I, I actually don't know whether the woman is upset or whether the woman is upset with the photographer taking her photograph. Um, so maybe she wasn't upset before the photographer took the picture, but that's maybe for the photographer to answer or not. Uh, I think. Uh, the shapes of the doors are quite interesting. There's almost like a, you know, the, there's the the poster of the the the, the woman scratching her arm. Um, it, she's naked, and there's a, you know, obviously there's this, the two. Sh it, maybe it's a, it could be the two shapes, the the door and the window. If you'd have got a bit closer, I think it would have been a bit more uh, powerful. Um, she's stuck in the middle of those big doors. I don't, maybe I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the fact that she's so small works. Uh, it's pretty straight on. And uh, I'd like it to have been a little bit more unbalanced, a little bit, uh, you know, this is a, a sad situation and I think that the picture is looking pretty perfect and pretty clean and I would have actually liked it to have been a little bit more um, fucked up. First swear word of the yeah. uh, slam. <laughs> Um, okay. So yeah, I would have okay. I would have liked it to have been a bit more uh, less perfect. Yes. Okay. Full view. Yeah. Um, not so bad to me. Uh, in a way, I love the the balance. It's quite well balanced. The picture. I I, I can understand the um, perfectly the opinion of Matt. But in some occasion, it's not so bad to me. So well balanced and the symmetry uh, also. On the floor, I don't. I don't like. Uh, actually, I don't like the the sign, the park sign, on the left mm -hmm. side of the picture. And um, I was thinking something else. Since at the first glance is not so good the picture, and probably is to me the white wall. I don't like so much the picture with a lot of white. Probably just to me, but uh, you know. Often our attention goes immediately where the main light is. And uh, also the white is really important, uh, is a kind of strong light, kind of. And this background so bright, uh, um, to me, is, is not good at all. Yeah, okay. so even if the, I mean, the sign, the, the paint on the wall, and the position of the lady, of the girl, is quite interesting, and the colors too, but the background, uh, the w white wall, is the worst thing, in my opinion. Okay. Also, one other thing, this picture is very middle distance, it's very, yeah. you know, very far back, and there's, it's very two-dimensional, and this is the type of photograph where you almost want someone to walk into the picture. Yeah. You want yeah. to wait just a bit longer and have someone in the right-hand corner, you know, even if it's a blur. Yeah, you know, right. Just, you know, right? It's too flat, probably. Yeah, no? It's too flat. Yeah, it, it's um, yeah, too, it's quite quite boring to look at. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see the scores. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this one, but oh, that's not too bad. Two, two, and Eleanor three. So well, better okay. than the first one, in my opinion. Yeah. This uh, this picture yeah. is from Richard Cashin from Canada, also. 
So For a minute, I thought you were going to say Richard yeah. Calvar. I'd have been Richard. <laughs> yeah, he's a Cana Canadian cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one, so we can get more. Yes. Okay. All right. Should I start, Matt. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I think this one's great. Okay. Um, because. It, Obviously, she's somewhere weird and wonderful, but the uh, what she's wearing, and you know, it, it's it's like a acid trip, uh, and I think um, pictures uh, like this, uh, we should all be taking more acid trip pictures. Uh, I don't know where she is. I don't know why she's there. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know anything really, uh, and that's good. Uh, the colors work, and she's kind of floating in space, and um, yeah, for, for me, I, uh, it brings back all sorts of uh, great drug memories, uh, and so uh, okay. I like it a lot. Okay, good. Eleanor? Um, I, I also really like that picture of the scene is great, uh, she's great, whatever, and how she's dressed, the fact that she's on her phone, not really paying attention to her really weird surrounding. Um, I think it's well lit, well exposed, all of that. Normally I would say that she needs a bit more space on the bottom of, like, just under her feet, but actually I quite like that she's, like, so stuck in the, in the corner here. I think it really helps, you know, emphasize the, the galaxies and the planets around her. So I quite like the, that the photographer made that choice to have her so, so low in the frame. Um, yeah, it's a really it's a really fun image. It's just weird enough. Like I like I like my images. Okay. Yeah, for me too. It's interesting, but I, I don't like so much the the feet. Yeah, and probably I don't know. Probably more space, or 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 we can try to cut. I I don't not in. I I don't like to to use um, post production or I mean crop. But during the, the shot, uh, you can try to take some different picture. Of course, the colors and the, I mean, uh, all the frame is full of stuff and, and planets and colors. Uh, so uh, it is quite good, quite good. Yeah, really good. He so looks half uh, astronaut and, and half rocket, you know, yeah. the shape. Uh, and I just think there's lots of things that you can sort of, Make up for yourself, um, and I, and definitely as a color photographer, it, it, it's very strong. So, uh, good. All right, let's see the scores for the acid trip. All right, three from Fulvio. Wow, four and four. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm well, dr uh, drugs. I, drugs I'm do wonders. I'm waiting. Is I'm it waiting is it for. Just a feat? Yeah. No. You know. Um, probably. One point I have for to say feet. that the composition is great. But I don't like yeah, the light, okay. and, yeah. and I, yeah. I think that often or always the picture is made by light. And in this case, of course, it's full of colors. It's it, it's amazing the composition, but uh, to me, it's just three. <laughs> 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 Waiting for the four or five. The, I don't think there's such a thing as a five. No. Okay. Five, five doesn't exist. Well, we don't know. No, I we, we'll be, see what's yeah. coming. Five changes your life, so. I'll say All right. Five. So this picture was sent by Kuo Chiao Lin from five. Taiwan. Five. five. This is from five. Taiwan. <laughs> huh? No, no, I'm joking. No. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the next one, so we can see. Okay. No. Uh, yes. Um, who's yeah. gonna start? Uh, full view. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. Oh. Okay. Um, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I, I love the shadow, uh, the shapes. Uh, yeah, we can. Oh, thanks a lot. What's your back? Ah, from here, much better. Okay, probably you have to see again the picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, the shadow and and the shapes, uh, many different shapes and and lines. Not not. Not bad. Uh, some diagonals, but too empty in the first, uh, in the foreground, um, and too flat. 
not so interesting. I mean, the picture is probably just where the, the piece of tree, I don't know, some, some piece of wood uh, on the net, or I don't know. Probably the picture is down there, where the shadows are and, and where the wall is, I mean. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, Eleanor, you want to go next? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this wants to be a horizontal shot, not a vertical one. Or, um, I I agree. I'm not I'm not crazy about the whole bottom part. That's very empty, um, and I don't feel like it. The proportions are really helping the the photograph, and there's just not enough detail to keep your interest there. Um, yeah, I think it would be better. I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. I like that word tree. I'm still not crazy about the photograph. Okay, Matt. Um, I think um, I often talk about uh, cropping to uh, uh, you know students and things like that. And this particular picture, I think it needs about a sixty percent crop. Um, and and that uh, general uh, generally that's too much. Um, you, you should have uh, got it right in the camera. Uh, I, and, and you know, I mean, definitely the bottom of the picture shouldn't be there. That all of that um, tarmac shouldn't be there. And maybe it's something like this. I don't know. But it, cropping it by sixty percent means you messed up. Um, yeah. I don't think it's. Uh, yeah, definitely not close enough. Um, potentially, the, um, the the picture is around here, yeah. and maybe it's a black and white picture. Um, I don't know. Okay. I would have I would have spent a lot All of time right. trying to to make something to, to justify it to, to make something out of it, and I just All don't right, think so I don't think uh, it, I don't think. Let's just go to the scores, <laughs> okay? Because we're trying to justify it. Sure. All right. Let's see. There is no zero, so. One, one, and two. Okay. <laughs> this picture is from Janusis Vasileos from Greece. So, as we, long, got, we got yeah. the scores. As long as he's not here. <laughs> I don't think he's here. Hopefully not. Because he'll come after you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Let's move to the next one. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, you want to start? This uh, one? I don't know. It's yes. okay for yeah. me. I can say that uh, um, I, I love to try to 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 judge to judge judge the picture at the first glance. And when when Eleanor put this picture, I said, "Okay, not bad." So uh, I can say this is m my opinion much more interesting than the picture before. I mean the light, uh, not, not, not perfect, I, I mean perfect uh, means nothing, uh, but the man down there in the light uh, and uh, without air is terrible. I totally hate the people in the picture without air, okay? <laughs> and uh, I love red and so the, 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 the main subject in red uh, and some Red, uh, yeah, the light is amazing. Probably is a good spot inside this market, probably. Uh, but you could better in that good spot, in my opinion, in that good place with a good spot of light. Um, not bad the idea to, to I, I love the idea to shoot in that position, in that place, uh, but okay, to, probably too mess. I don't like so much the, uh, of course, the overlapping of uh, these people uh, and uh, the two white uh, bags uh, and the white lamps. Uh, uh, so the white for me is something really, really, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, the white is terrible to me. But the light uh, is great. I can say <laughs> this one. So you basically talked yourself out of it, haven't you? You, just, you started with really liking it, and okay. at the end of it, it's terrible. <laughs> you know, often it's not so easy to find the right light. Yes. And uh, to me, in photography, the light is 80% of the picture. Yes. And so, starting from the light, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Let's... Uh, you want to... Sure. Yeah. Uh, I... 
think it is a good place to stop, but I don't think the person stopped that place at the right time. So uh, the man in the red is not enough. Uh, I don't think the... You know, Jesus, sunshine happens on a good day. And, <laughs> and this is what has been recorded here is sunshine, but I don't think there's much more. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure it was a, uh, yeah, it was a nice day. <laughs> but uh, I don't think there's enough in the picture to uh, warrant pressing the button. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry, I'm, and I'm also like the red thing. I'm not. You know, if you, if you love red, I'll give you a red piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I can have 100% red. I mean, the subject uh, is in red, and so I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> and yeah. Can we slam the other judges? You can do whatever you want. Yeah, this is a photo slam. It Great. didn't have to be the photo. You can. Okay. All right, Eleanor, you want to go? Yeah. Sure. Um, I don't have very much to add here because it's it's all been said. Although I don't mind the lady with the bags. That's that's the one thing where I disagree. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not crazy about all the characters on the left. Um, even the even the main character, I don't know that he's quite interesting enough, aside from the fact that he's. But he has a, a red jacket. Um, but yeah, the light is beautiful. One thing that I do love in this picture is the little, the little light on the, you on love, the bottom you love of that? the picture. I think you it's very that. pretty. Yeah. Love is a big word. I, I appreciate that. I take it back. I appreciate it. I think that's very pretty. Um, but yeah, it's a good situation to start with. But I agree that's not okay. probably the best shot in that location. Okay, let's, do, let's see the scores then and uh, see what... Uh, Wow, okay, one, three, and two. And this picture is from Danutas Tamaraksa from Thailand. And it's not, it's not from Milan. Not from, yeah, it's not here either. So that's good. You're safe for now. All right, let's move to the next one. Okay. And black and white, so we're going to probably start with Eleanor. I have a feeling Eleanor wants to say a few words. Yeah, I, I, I quite like it. Um, it's, a, it's a great situation. I love, um, I love shooting from above. I just, it's just such a good way to turn something kind of boring into something more interesting. And I, I like the steps here. The, all of these really graphic lines are really helping the photo. Um, obviously, the two circles are are good. I think it's I think it's really well done for that situation. I I quite like this picture. I don't know if I would hang it in my house, but I I like it. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, I agree. The ge geometry is great, and composition is good. Uh, and the umbrella is not so good, in my opinion. But probably. Without the, the umbrella and the people, I, I don't know the geometry. It's okay, but it's quite quite boring. I mean, nothing happened in the picture. Uh, uh, but the geometry is great, and the diagonals of the steps, and you can imagine a lot of people walking and and different people. Not a lot, but yeah, different, and probably just the same people, just only people walking around. <laughs> all the time, but yeah, it's not bad. The composition is interesting, well-balanced, and it's okay. Um, I don't want to be like the bad dude. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one of those photographs that you are supposed to like, because you've seen it so many times. You know those feet in the snow. You've seen the feet in the snow. Well, uh, Julie, street repeat Julie, do, yeah. the, do the feet in the snow one, because there's a few. And it's from above, and there's going to be an umbrella, and there's going to be all these feet walking through, and you're going to go, oh, oh. And it reminds you of like those sunset pictures that you see all the time, and your brain goes, oh, sunset, no, I really, no, this is good. Yeah. And it, actually, I don't think it's that good. I think we're just uh, exposed to this sort of stuff. Um, and this is a graphic photograph from above in the snow and I think it could do with some color 
uh, I think it could be uh, it could be more interesting. And I definitely think it's something that we are uh, overexposed to, and we kind of go, oh yeah, that's this, this is good. You know, this is good. But why is it good? It's good it, because it's you're familiar. It's something yeah. that you are yeah. overexposed to. But it's color, right? The picture. It is a color picture. But I'm saying, I mean, yeah. you know, I, so um, Paul, you need some color. You know, Paul Lowe has a picture in the it, with feet prints in the snow, and there's blood there. And then so you start, and then and do like, you need the red? Well, yeah. hey, <laughs> I, I think it needs a sprinkle of blood. At the end. Um, no, I'm 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 just I'm. Being provocative, but I do think that it, it, it could do with something something else because I know that this I know yeah. what it is. Okay, sounds good. So let's see the scores then. Uh, yeah. All right, let's look at. Well, that's not two. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, two, two, and three. Okay, <laughs> it was well. Okay, and this picture is from Patrick Dro Droning. From the Netherlands. All right, let's move on to the next slide. And whoever wants to start, who wants? They're hogging. They're hogging the screen. I can't see it. Yeah. Huh? They're, they're hogging the screen. Yes, yeah, they are. Yes, that's a. Yeah. Always move the move the, <laughs> move the computer. Ah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So Matt, yeah, go ahead and start. The bad guy. Yeah. No, I, th I think this is very good. Uh, I don't really oh. understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So uh, uh, this is when a good you, when you don't, point. When you don't understand it, um, for me, that's a that's a, a good thing. It, uh, it it could be a dream of some sort. It could be a uh, a nightmare. I don't understand it. I don't know how it's been done. I don't have many answers to this photograph, which is a good thing. And so I think it's it's well done. It's intriguing, uh, and it's not like something that I've seen many times before. So um, it's going to get more than a two. Okay. Wow. That, that would be something to see. Okay. Yeah. For me too. Uh, often when I see this picture, I I think at the double exposition. But for sure, this this is not the case. The I mean, I hope it. Uh, but since it's just because uh, often can happen or sometimes, but in this case, I think the picture is great if we don't think at the double exposition. And uh, I love, really love the atmosphere, the lady, the face, the, the end so close, the fingers are, are really interesting. And, uh, and the background with another car, the umbrella, um, yeah, it, it's in in a way is a kind of I mean I don't want to say too much but a kind of so later in black and white and so yeah for me it's the the best picture of this series until now. Okay, that's uh, Eleanor. Yeah, I I I really like this picture. Um, I love that effect that looks like a collage, but you know it's not. But you can't really figure out where you are. It has this very surreal feel. Um, and like the two hands responding to each other. I also love like all the stripes that are running through the image all the way up to the sky. That is very painterly and very stripy. Um, it's a, it's an enigma and it's it's really interesting and I would love it on okay. my wall. Yeah, Perfect. Shot that all right, let's see those scores and this picture. Yeah, let's see the scores. Uh, Wow, okay, four. Uh oh. Whoa, all right. Four. Whoa! <laughs> five, four, and five, wow. It beat, it beat the, uh, the acid rain picture? Yeah. I, I, okay. I, 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 the no, drugs? I, I, can't, I can't work it out, I don't understand it. Yes. I haven't seen this before. All right, this is Nikos Konidaris from Greece. So Nikos, did nice one, well, Nikos. Let's go next one. Okay, this one. Uh, Matt has to start this one. No. Huh? I think it's Eleanor's oh, turn it's to Eleanor? start. Okay, yeah. let's start, Eleanor. Um, this doesn't quite work for me. 
I mean, it's the, de the detail, of course, is funny, but I, I mean, actually, I don't know if I've seen legs coming out of the car before, but just like a cutout person, I've seen a lot. Um, this picture also feels kind of bright to me, and that's a little distracting. Um, I think the photographer had time to kind of move around because obviously whatever legs are coming out is not really paying attention to him or her. So I think there's a lot more to do and try to have a composition that was a bit more interesting, getting a little closer. Um, all of that left side has no information really that's relevant. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting thing to notice on the street, but I'm not, I'm just not crazy about the photograph. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, I'm. I don't like the picture for the light. This is the main re reason. And yeah, but you know, for me, is um, I've already, I've already explained. Yes. Uh, the light is terrible to me, and so it's not a good picture. And also, the background is too dirty. I mean, um, and and too white again. <laughs> And it, okay, it's interesting for, for the main subject, but our picture, is, I mean, the picture is the whole frame, the whole frame, not just the, the subject or, or just the background. It, 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 is a, it is a mix between these two important stuff and things. Subject, action, okay, but subject and, break, and background. And in this case, it's just, just okay, Look at the subject, look at these two legs. Interesting, but not enough for a good picture. Um, and so, yes. Okay, it's all right. No. Matt? So, uh, so this is a uh, kind of photograph that when you see it, you um, should put it somewhere else. So you, the photographer has gone, ah, the legs, the legs, and <laughs> and just put, plonked it straight in the middle. And I wonder, um, and, and we, have all of, we have all of the answers to this picture in that there are a pair of legs hanging out yeah. the back of the car. Potentially there's a, a more interesting photograph with these uh, flowers on the right hand side, these hooks, these red and white um, hooks, and then you could put the legs to the left of the picture. Disregard the, um, the, the big, you know, the, the heart, thing that makes your heart jump out of your mouth. And this is, what I think, one of the really important things that a lot of uh, really good photographers do, that they, they can go, <gasps> and then they go, and I'll stick you over there. <laughs> you know, yeah. put it, kind of stick it to level two. Whereas this photographer has gone, <gasps> level one, straight in the middle, sensor, straight in the middle of the autofocus point. And actually, if you look at the picture, the left-hand side, maybe two-thirds of that picture are not of any use to us whatsoever. Uh, I really think that the, the photograph starts to happen around here, yeah. but this is just empty space. Uh, and uh, I also, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that it, it, the photographer could have been cooler. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Do you cooler. understand what I mean? Just cooler, cooler. in that, like, cooler, like, ah, that's. That's interesting, and then let's mess it up a bit. Let's oh, kind of, let's see. disregard yeah. the, the 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 really big. Not so obvious. Not yeah. so obvious. Yeah. Okay. Is it yours? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see the scores. One from Fulvio, and two from Eleanor, and two from Matt. Okay. So. We have a one, Eleanor, just in case. <laughs> Do you have it? Okay. All right, this picture. Okay. This picture came from Sorin Suciu, Suciu from Romania. All right, let's switch to the next one. We're going to move on a little faster. So we get to most stop. of them. And this is good, right? <laughs> so the light was a full view. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, I love the light and colors, first of all. Okay, different layers, so not bad. Some diagonals, uh, real, I mean real. The shadow is a good diagonal, and, and the position of the three people is quite interesting. The shadow, I mean not the shadow, the, the silhouette 
of the last man. And the composition is dirty. Uh, um, yeah, again, you know, it's not... Uh, it's really difficult, guys, you know, it's really difficult to take a great picture since there are so many things. Uh, and, and in this case, you should, yeah, the feet of the men are missing. Yeah. And, and, and again, the white car for me is a problem. I love the blue sky uh, on the top of the picture, on, yeah. But again, it's dirty. Uh, 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 no, you know, you know, I, I, okay, dirty, yeah. Yeah, so but since, I mean, I don't love the, 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 the perfect picture, it doesn't exist, but um, if you want to, if you can use the, the crop, this is the right situation to me. I, I mean, you, you don't need to crop too much, just a little bit, and you can clean a little bit your picture. Yes. Okay, Matt? Uh, I'm so sorry for laughing, but I just thought it was a good, a, a good, a good, a good term. I think uh, the man in the foreground is the, the, the it, his legs being cut off is a is a problem, and this is something that uh, we all do. Every single photographer will look at a picture, you know, at some point in their lives and go, "Ah, oh, I can't believe I cut off his feet," and that's because you were so busy looking at their face. You just forget that lower, that last 10% of the frame. Um, but it's a crucial 10% of the frame. And this particular man, I think, needed to be uh, shot halfway up. So he, he, you know, you can't crop his feet off. His feet need to be in or out. But you could have cropped him halfway. And that would have involved being quite a lot closer. So this picture, uh, again, feels a little bit distant to me. I would have liked the photographer to have got in a bit closer. I think the colors are working for him, uh, and potentially this guy is going to be hanging out there smoking that cigarette for a while. He doesn't look like he's moved much. So um, maybe it's a, 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 a bit more of a, a weight that the photographer needed to do. Um, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's a terrible picture. Uh, as Fulvio said, the, cut, uh, the light and the color is working for the photographer, but I do think that the photographer needs to be closer. Um, and you know what, I mean, the, the man in the foreground is the key to this picture because he is the most interesting thing. The others are just walking through it. There's no, there's not any huge interest about them apart from the shape of the middle man. The shadow, the guy on the, on the left, I don't think he's bringing much to the party. So yeah, the, the man in the foreground is most important and I do believe the ph photographer needs to get closer so we could see that guy a little bit better. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, what do you think? Go ahead. Uh, not that I have all that much to add because I mostly agree with, with everyone. I do want to, you know, recognize that a photographer has a very good sense of, as has been said, lighting and color, but also, you know, rhythm. I think the three are very well placed. Yeah. But I agree that the composition would need to be a little tighter. I think the photographer really wanted to finish that line from the shadow up there, but I don't quite think that we need it because I agree with Matt that the most interesting character in that picture is the one in the in the foreground. So I would have liked to see to see more of him and more of his feature and maybe have some interest in the back and we would still have these really nice colors um, but not as much as not as much as of the noise as we have on the sides with that yeah. column that's cut out, the car doesn't really add anything. And I'm a little bit bothered by this, that sliver of white. Uh, which could have been easily covered by the yeah, column. The white for you. Yeah, <laughs> it bothers me too. The white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see the scores now. Then uh, two from Matt, uh, three, and what is it? Three. So two, three, and three. And this picture was sent by Alexander Zenkovic from Belarus. All right, let's see who's going to start. No, okay. Cool. Um, action, doing something is better than nothing. Uh, strong subject. Um, quite interesting the, the, um, the atmosphere, I mean, the face of the man with the big ear. <laughs> 
and and the position and I love the how can I say the jacket the jacket okay but again the photographer in my opinion uh, put attention just on the main subject in that case and not um, in the different layers and the photographer forgot completely the man behind uh, and so when when we look inside the viewfinder we have to to run inside to wave uh, in a way uh, with uh, our eye inside the viewfinder inside the scene try to to stay focused on the on the main subject of course but no hurry at all the man is yeah just mocking and it's okay and and so if you can recognize your main subject you can wave and check all the corners of the picture and behind the main subject or uh, as uh, Matt and Eleanor said before waiting for someone uh, in the middle between me I mean between the camera and the subject in order to give uh, depth uh, or movement uh, at the picture. So, uh, at the end, is a good subject, good action, but poor picture. Okay. I um, think the picture would have been better if the photographer got a bit lower. And so then he wouldn't have the problem with the, the, the heads and, and the, the, the man behind him. I think if he'd have got a little bit lower, the man's, man would have had more space and he would not have the, um, the ledge coming out of the top of his head, which I find distracting. Um, the ledge is here. Uh, I, I, I keep on seeing that and that I, I just wish the photographer had just gone a fraction lower and made this, um, you know, it, very interesting man look a little bit more imposing, more powerful, more, um, sort of, ogre-like. Um, I think the photographer's done reasonably well because he's got, got close. Uh, he's, you know, I, I know why he pressed the button. I do think that the left-hand side of the frame is a little bit um, messy. Uh, if, you, if you close your eyes at it, you see that black block uh, on the, on the uh, left-hand side, and I think that could, could do with not being there. So... Um, Subject good, moment good, uh, framing mediocre. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the picture is is bad, um, but I I agree with you that the photographer ha should have gone lower, and I also really don't like the crop of the of the arm. Yeah. So lower into his side would have would have been better, and then we would have right. the separation you were talking about with the people in the background. Right. Um, but he's very interesting in that. That photograph has a very classic feel, which I, I like. Um, yeah, the subject matter is interesting. I think it could it could be improved, but I don't think it's a bad image. Okay, so time to see the scores. Let's see. Three from Pulvio, three and two from Matt. So, and this uh, picture was sent by Robbie McIntosh from Italy. So, I don't know if Robbie is here. Uh, he might be here. I don't know. Robbie? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one. We, I think we can do a couple more. And yeah, we run. Yeah, a few more. And uh, so let's just. Uh, okay. This one might be here, though. We'll see. Okay. Hello? Okay. Um, I think all of us, when we saw this, um, went, ah, oh, the, the headlight. Because you look at this picture, and there's one thing that really drags your eye, and it's the headlight of the car. And it's, it's bigger than the main subject. And so this is a, you know, this is a 10% crop. Should have been done in the camera, but... Um, my uh, preference would be to lose the headlight and then you have the lady uh, doing her makeup. I do feel that the photographer is a little bit far away. I, I think uh, this is a, at least a two-step problem, potentially a three-step problem. 
Um, you always risk the uh, risk being seen, or you know, the person. Uh, and this is you know, it's nighttime. It's a tricky situation. Lady in her car doing her makeup. Um, but so you have to. But I do think the photographer needs to be closer. Um, uh, apart from that, I like the feel. I like the you know building in the background, the sort of very imposing building. I actually, it does you know talking about it, it does make make me feel a bit scared. It's kind of one of those sort of uh, moment. Uh, I always, almost look at it as as like wow, well, you know, uh, I, I I feel a little bit of a, a voyeur uh, okay. through the photographer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, um, I totally agree with Matt um, about composition and the crop. Uh, yeah, exactly. We immediately notice the the lamp, and and yeah, it is a kind of. But the scene is great. It's a kind of um, movie. I don't know, uh, or a nightmare, or a yeah. So it's interesting, and I love the reflection, the the uh, point dot dot of uh, light on the car and, and, and the background is amazing, action, light in the, the main light on the, the, the subject, so it's, it's really good and so we can crop a little bit the picture. I don't like the crop, as Matt mentioned, you can crop, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, you can crop in using the camera, I mean two, three steps closer, but the scene is interesting, the light too. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with everything that's been said, just the, the two lights and also the building, just like move your eye to the right side completely and you lose, and you lose your subject, so I agree with, I agree with you both that the photographer could have been closer, and also, if he or she had been closer, maybe tone that hand a little bit uh, down. It's a bit bright to me. All right, let's see the scores. And uh, so three, three, and three. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, so that picture was sent by Stefano Bianchi from Italy. All right, we're going to do two more, so let's try to move through them quickly, and then we have our, uh, we're going to have the final scoring, right? So, okay. So, let's see the next one. Yeah. yeah. Eleanor. Yeah. Let's start. Uh, Eleanor, start. Huh? Matt, this is for you. Okay. Continue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's quite, it's a, a strange photograph, uh, it looks like a, a family photo gone wrong. <laughs> um, I quite like it, I'm, uh, it's a bit of a shame that he, he cropped the, la he or she has cropped the lady's uh, head on the right hand side, um, I would have liked that to have been in, and also we we have a big problem here, which is the kid smiling in the foreground. Um, this is, I think, this is a prime um, example of cropping that smile out. So when you're in the camera, just have those eyes uh, and and make it just a little bit more um, ambiguous. We don't know whether he's smiling or crying or shouting, or but with the smile, it seems like everything is probably okay, and the person with the dogs is doing something silly. Um, so, uh, but all in all, I mean, it, it, it's not bad at all, and the colors work enough. The, again, I, I think Fulvio is going to probably have a problem with the time of day that it was shot, uh, <laughs> and he probably hopes that they're going to be doing that moment in about five hours' time. Yeah, uh, the moment is not the best uh, ever. Um, I agree with Matt uh, again with the face of the, the boy and it's totally against the light in, 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 a, in the wrong time of the day. I mean, it's not okay to me this moment uh, for, for shooting against light and the flesh is so strong uh, and the face of the boy is not so good and okay. The composition, something happened in the picture, 
the two dogs uh, inside the, I don't know the name, sorry, uh, uh, but... Flare. Flare? flare? Mm. No, this stuff, oh. scolet, I don't know, and the flare, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I love your first um, definition of the picture, a, f a picture from go wrong, a family picture go wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the situation is, is really great, and I don't know what he's doing, but it's, it's yeah. fantastic. And I hadn't noticed at first the, the lady in the back that also has a stroller. I think that's, that's a really good addition to the picture. Um, I don't have a problem with the head of the lady being slightly cropped, actually, but the, the brightness of the light on the face of a kid in the foreground is just, it's just really distracting to me, uh, more so than his smile. It's okay. good for the depth in the picture, you yeah. know, but, yeah. but not too much yeah. bright. Yeah. Okay, let's see the scores, and then we have one more final, and then we'll show the winner. Three, three, and three. Okay, so this picture was sent by Jasmine Hendro Gendron from Japan. All right, last one that we have, and yes, who wants to start on this one? Last one. I don't know. Sure. Since, uh, I don't know. Since, since yeah. you don't know. Um, the, feet. I really <laughs> the feet. The feet is great. That one, not that one. Yeah. Um, that that's situation is really great, and I think the picture could have been a little better. I, I don't love it. We can't see his face. I don't really like the juxtaposition yeah. of of, um, of the wheel and the face. That doesn't quite work for me. It's also not right on his face, so you can see a bit of his eyes, but not all of it. I, I don't like that. I would prefer to see separation. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I like that I don't quite know where I am, why he's sleeping. I think that's interesting. I love his position in the, yeah, in the golf cart. That's great. I like the two, the two ladies. Um, not crazy about the mustache. Yeah. Also, I think that bar is not is not really well placed. Um, and I wish the feet of the lady weren't yeah. cut out. Okay. Yeah, totally agree. Uh, uh, interesting the colors, complementary, but mm, okay, something weird. The background, just a picture, or but we miss the the feet of the lady, um, probably, uh, you know, there are so many little details in order to give uh, strength uh, at our picture, and we missed one really important in this picture, the feet of the lady playing with the feet of, of the boy, and, and again, you're right, uh, this um, piece of, uh, I don't know the name, just in the yeah, in front of the face of the lady. So okay. if I can just so add something, I wish if a photographer had just gone a little lower, I think that would have helped a lot. Um, people sh should sometimes just go just a little bit lower than eye level. I don't know why people don't move lower. Um, that would have helped the picture. Okay. Uh, I think as a color photograph, it it works well. Um, I definitely. I'm upset with the photographer for cropping the lady in orange's feet. Uh, I think he or she probably had so much time to get this right, and they, they had they just had to do one, you know, small thing, and they messed it up. And I think what would have been nice would have been to see the the, the cross legs of the lady, the shapes of the the man in the car. Um, there's a few, I mean, this is all about, uh, I mean, obviously this is a juxtaposition, but this is all about body language. And those, I do believe those feet either had to be in or seriously out. Uh, and so for that um, reason, uh, I'm not going to invest in this photograph. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see. Scoring. And for the last one, we have two, two, and three. Okay. So this was sent by Homer Harianja from Indonesia. All right. So that concludes the photo slam. So let's uh, 
wait for our scoring system, very yeah. sophisticated scoring system that we yeah. have. If, <laughs> if I can, Juan, yes. I don't know if it's possible, but at, yeah. at the end I would like to give five as a picture in black and white. I was thinking, okay, I, I, I need to wait at the end, but I, I agree with my colleagues. To which one? The, uh, one, the, uh, the one you know with the lady. Yeah, exactly. Thank all right, you, well, let's see what... Uh, so please give five to after me. After an extensive scoring... What? Huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> five, five, five. Yeah, oh, you changed it. The five, five, five. Wow, okay. So the winner is... Yes, let's go back to... Yep. Yeah. So the winner is... Uh, yeah. That's Nik Nikos Konidaris from Greece. He's the winner of the 2019 Trip Colo Milano Photo Class.